thing. If you all are having these real high water bills come in, contact me. I'd like to talk to you and tell your story. Thank you. What's going on, everybody in YouTube? Somebody said to me, you shouldn't be saying that your local government officials addressed it if you don't say what they say. Well, here's what Mr. Mosley said. And if this is normal, I mean, I've lived in Harlan all my life. Is it normal for water plants to only last 30 years? I mean, I think the one down there in Harlan's more than 30 year old. It sets up our own Ivy Hill, but anyway, our county judge executive, Dan Mosley, he's a good guy. Uh, to me, this should have fell on the uh, uh, emergency management guy, that Tim uh, McGill or whatever his name is, but he never was even mentioned. The city of Everett's water system has long been experienced issues with frequent outages leading to the current state of emergency. So where's that emergency manager? Due to water outages in the Clover Fork area. The Harlan County Judge Executive Dan Mosley addressed the state of emergency during a press conference on Monday. And I didn't even know about this. Thank you for joining us here at Harlan County Courthouse. Today, related to the state of emergency that continues in Harlan County, related to the Clover Fork water outage situation, Mosley said. Mosley mentioned multiple water outages that have occurred across the county in the last couple of weeks, many due to recent sub-zero temperatures. The community of Wallens, Bledsoe, Baxter, Big Laurel, and Ross Point were all impacted. So Everett's pumps water to all those areas, is that what he's saying? I mean, fortunately repairs have been made to the breaks that occurred that impacted those communities, Mosley said. Mosley said the state of emergency related to the Clover Fork water outage will continue for the foreseeable future. And right here, and this is coming from the Harlan Daily Enterprise, right here is a picture of Dan Mosley, right there. That's our county judge exec. He used to work at WIMT. The news people. And here we are down here. Water. All right. He said he sees it going on in the future. The city of Everett's has a water treatment plant that was constructed 30 to 35 years ago, Mosley said. That treatment plant serviced about 1,100 customers within the city limits of Everett's as well as Verda and Jones's Creek. Though Everett's going toward where Black Mountain Elementary School, they're talking about running lines towards that school, is now and up to Shields, which is several miles outside of the city limits of Everett's, which is where I live at, the Harlan County Detention Center and the Hope Center were later added to the city of Everett's water system. That's the jail and uh, the women's in-house rehab center down there. Well, shit, I lost my plates. Okay, here. The Harlan County Detention Center and Hope Center were later added to the city of Everett's water system. An additional six ton of customers. So that puts us up to... 1,700 customers and the jail and the Hope, system, Hope Center. 600 customers were added to the system through the VMUD, which is Black Mountain Utility District. Mosley explained the Shields area is at higher elevation than the Everts, which requires the system to rely on water to be pumped to customers at Llewellyn, Close Flint, and Holmes Mill. Everts has to have water in their branch tank to the tune of 45 feet to get it to Laurel Branch, Mosley said. It has to have a certain level in the Laurel Branch to get it to the Shields, and the Shields has to be at a certain level to get where Bee Mud can pump it on to Llewellyn and Close Flint and Holmes's Mill. Mosley explained Everett's began noticing a decline in the water coming into the system 
at that time the city attempted to drill an additional well to improve the flow going to the treatment plant. In August of 2022, the source declined to a level that caused the, caused the efforts to not be able to meet the demand, Mosley said, last year after they made it through a hard time of August through November of 2022, the mine source and the well source picked back up from January to about July of 2023. During that time, the outages were fewer until drier conditions set up in the fall. So they know this is going to improve, and then it's going to go to shit again. They know this. Mosley explained efforts began pulling water from the river to meet demand, which we've got a lot of strip mining, a lot of chemicals going in, uh, a lot of sludge ponds, a lot of trash in our river up here that they're catching down there. I mean, they're way downstream from up here. I mean, it's, it's bad. Mosley explained Everts began pulling water from the river to meet the demand. However, the river is often muddy, and the city's water plant was not designed to treat muddy water. Okay. I'd say it's because that plant, it's built on the river. I'd say they never wanted them pulling water from that nasty river when they built it. Mosley noted more than 40 outages since August 2022, leading to the multiple emergency declaration by the city of Everett's in Harlan County. The people from Llewellyn and Holmes's Mill have suffered the greatest, and they have. Mosley said, and when I say suffered, I mean suffered. I've talked to people who are elderly, people who are sick, people who are on dialysis patients, people who have taken cancer, uh, uh, cancer treatments, and it's heartbreaking, he says. The large amount of water loss inside the city of Everts adds up to the problem. Water loss is calculated by the amount of water that is lost in the system before it ever gets to your home or business, Mosley said. Last year, Everts had a water loss of approximately 30%. Four weeks ago, it was communi to me, communicated to me that Everts' water loss Everett's water loss had exceeded 55%, undoubtedly, which was what was experienced in the two winter storms we experienced. The situation has gotten worse. Mostly noted that many customers had to have water shut off due to pipes breaking because of the low temperatures. We request the Division of Water and the Kentucky Rural Water Association to come in last Tuesday of last week to provide assistance. Mosley said, there have been 22 locations where water loss had been addressed. Those repairs alone regained 120 gallons per minute back into the system. Mosley said they are looking into possibility of moving the river pumps to Yoakum Creek, which does not have, does not, H-A-V-D-E, have it the mud issue suffered by the current pump locations. He also mentioned an uh, Moss's purification system has been requested. Hmm. This is a mobile treatment plant. My beautiful wife come in. Sorry about that. This is a mobile treatment plant that is operated by Kentucky National Guard, Mosley said. We have requested that it has been approved at this point at the state level. However, we feel like if we can implement this purification system, perhaps at the High Splint Lake, it will provide the ability to inject water back into the lines and get it on upriver. Possible ways to improve the system include replacing the water system temporarily water systems telemetry system, a new storage tank, and a new water treatment plant. A water treatment plant is necessary, Mosley said. Grants have been applied for and, the per and applied for that purpose by the city. Both of these were denied. Funding was applied through the direct abandoned mine land 
program and it was denied there was an appeal filed at the appeal under its review and it was my hope that the appeal will be overturned and Everett's will qualify for a treatment plant though that I though that fund if it does not Senator Johnny Turner and Representative Adam Bowling have been very engaged in this situation over the last year and have requested a budget line item request be filed. Mosley said that the request is for approximately 8.5 million. So they're saying 8.5 million to get a new water plant that's in our plant we got's just 30 to 35 year old. I believe there needs to be a significant line replacement inside the city. I've got information on that. The radio guy in Pineville says none of these lines was put in properly, and I'll show you what he said here in a minute. Mosley said that there needs to be significant focus on leak detection. That is the most immediate thing that the city can do to ensure this nightmare goes away. Now, I agree with that because he said they got 120 gallons back, and this system can only pump 700 gallons a minute. Mosley mentioned he had spoken with Everts Mayor Eddie Manning concerning the situation. He and I have a close friendship and a mutual understanding, Mosley said. Water loss has to be decreased, and the only way it can decrease is we aren't just looking for leaks in a crisis. Leak detection, detection has to occur every day. The Harlan County Emergency Manager Director David McGill, that's his name, took the podium to provide information on available water for the residents of the impacted areas. We have three locations within Cloverfort, McGill said. That is at the Cloverfort Fire Department. They will be taking uh, place from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. The Everts Fire Department, which asked for my wife's ID, which is a violation of the Fourth Amendment, uh, they will be giving it out from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. daily, and the Yoakum Creek Fire Department will be giving out water from 11 a.m. until people stop coming. For updates on water distribution locations, go to the Harlan County Emergency Management on Facebook. Now that's what was printed in the Harlan Daily Enterprise over our water. Now I'm going to show you what the radio guy said. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share us. Thank you very much. And uh, overcast guys. Yes, here's the local I know radio. Some of the highest elevations in North Carolina and a portion of Tennessee. There was some snow. Nothing close. Okay, what do we got here? Darlene Brock. Clearly, Travis heard me say her last name was something else yesterday. Darlene Brock. Uh, I don't remember saying that. Anyway, moving on. Terry Black, Sherry Matthews, Vada Jackson, Margaret Inman, who had a birthday yesterday. Sandy Garland, how you doing? Melissa Matthews. Uh, Jonna Robbins. What's up, Jonna? Also, and January's not over yet. Don't count January out. Tomorrow is the first day of February. Linda Sue Rice, we also got two. We got Marky Mark and the Stewart Bunch. Um, I'm not seeing Janice Johnson. There we go. Kitty Duncan. Um, Here's what I told him. Okay. When did Adam say that, Mark? Um, I usually see his updates. Did I miss an update or something? Mark says that Adam Bowling, state rep, said that Harlan County could be having water problems for a few years due to getting the money and then building it all. Yeah, well, they've got a huge infrastructure to build out. The infrastructure for, Black, is it Black Mountain, Wa Black Mountain Water District? Is that the one that's having the most problems? Because I know part of the Pineville water system does serve a little bit of Harlan, right? I think, I think I'm misspeaking on that. But, oh, you got an email from, oh, okay, gotcha, understood. Yeah, they've got a big infrastructure to, to fix. Uh, a lot of lines are decades old in any community. Knox County went through it. Uh, Bell County does go through it. A majority of the ancient lines um, were not necessarily, now wait, before someone jumps on me, were not necessarily installed correctly. And it's because I know a little bit of the history here, not from living here but from speaking to those who were here before I was, 
and um, the, the, this is there are a lot of um, obsolete water systems, meaning they're using infrastructure that is just so outdated. It's not even funny. And unfortunately, when that happens, it's not every water system, but there are portions, I think, of every water system in the United States that had to start somewhere. And even if you're in a new subdivision, you're still getting water to that subdivision from some older lines. So good, good things. Um, at, at least you've, you've got some folks who are wanting to to fix the problem. It's just when it comes to water, uh, I don't think that it's going to be to the point where, if, you know, that Harlan represents Flint, Michigan. I don't think it's going to be the same thing at all, but it's, it's just in bad shape, bad shape. Wilma's on there.